Hello, my name is Lockley. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a 3x3 piston elevator for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So the first thing you want to do is have two pistons here, two slime blocks there, two more slime blocks there, two downwards facing pistons, four upwards facing pistons there and there. And now we want to build two blocks of slime here, one there, two more there, and one there. With these honey blocks, you're going to want to do two blocks up and three blocks there. So that now is the fly machine. You want to place nine blocks there, and apart from the observers, which I get here. Before you place the observers, place two obsidian blocks there. Then place the observer here. And one observer here. So right there, that is this fly machine. Obviously if you want it to fly, you're going to want to remove these obsidian blocks. The reason I like this is because if the slime bit gets stopped but the honey block doesn't, the honey block still keeps going and that breaks it so that's just to stop the thing from breaking now let's move on to this part so the bottom part is very simple you place a piston there piston there then you have two repeaters here both on four six and now you need four blocks of your choice so you can have them there and that is the bottom complete so before you set this thing going build up to the height where you want it to stay and then you're golden you got to go so place a button here set it going and it is off at the top of our fly machine, we need to place some non movable blocks around here. So you can either use obsidian or glazed terracotta, these are just so that the slime block doesn't pull them down. And also, you want three non movable blocks right there. Okay, good. So now we're going to want to place a block of our choice Hold on a second right here a button on top of it we want to go down a couple blocks redstone dust redstone torch sticky piston and slime blocks in this uh, honey blocks sorry in this configuration in fact before we place honey blocks to place a couple blocks of obsidian there to stop this thing from moving downwards. So let's go onto the honey blocks. The honey blocks go just like this, we need two like that. One there, one there, and one there. This will activate the flying machine, sending it back down. So what we need now is a thing that makes it these two obsidian blocks don't need them. So what we need to do is take a signal out of that redstone torch right there two redstone dust a redstone torch a temporary block an actual block remove the temporary block right there and then we need to place six blocks right here we can place that one slightly further up and we need two redstone dust one redstone dust we need this comparator to go into this block. This is necessary as we're going to have a redstone torch here. We're going to need this comparator to go that way. This, this creates a pulse extender allowing the pistons to move for long enough to let this thing go down. And now we need a redstone torch right here. The block on top of it and some redstone dust. Two blocks there, with redstone dust on top of them. 
one piston, two piston, three piston, like that, I mean three blocks there, and that is good to go to remove these blocks here, these blocks here. This will now go down. And that is the flying machine complete. So I will just show you in a second. But you can place blocks like all around there. Just when you're placing blocks, leave a gap there and there. You can place blocks behind it as long as they're non-movable because of the honey. But yeah. You can also place blocks under these here. So just for if you build an elevator shaft. Also make all the blocks in the shaft non-movable by pistons, obviously. You can have non-movable blocks here. You can obviously link a redstone wire down here, to the so you can press the button from up top. But now we can ride the elevator. I'm going to show you that it works. Obviously it is faster in normal worlds, this one is just overloaded with stuff. When it gets to the top, these blocks here will stop it. And you're good to go. Thank you so much for watching, please consider liking and subscribing, and I'll see you next time.